Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. I am here to represent the hardworking single parents. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, today we are doing our famous midweek check-ins. So we are halfway between pay periods. I got paid last Wednesday and I'll get paid again next Wednesday. Today we're just going to sit down. We're going to look at our budget to see what we have left in the bank accounts and in our cash wallet. That way we can make sure that we are still on track, make sure our budget is in line, and make sure we have enough to pay the bills that have not yet come out. So, and if we need to, now would be the perfect time to rebudget. So I've gone ahead and looked at my bank account. That's the first thing that I like to do. Although I'm monitoring it all the time. I'm a little obsessed over it. Um, and I think that's just from coming from, you know, being low income and living paycheck to paycheck previously. So, you know, you just, you know, you get a little anxious about it, I guess. So um, in the main bank account, I have $90. And well, we started with $90 in the main bank account and we started with $577.51 in the bill account. Since then, we've gotten the paycheck added and that was $1282, $1285, 90 plus the $175 that automatically goes to our, to our automatic savings accounts. Um, but that's not included in here, of course, because those are savings accounts. And we have so far spent $804.66. <laughs> so these that five five ninety five ninety gets transferred from the main account to the bill account so that I can pay any bills that need to um, come out for the pay period and we just keep the buffer in the main account um, in case anything comes up and that's just in case a bill comes out that I wasn't expecting it's just a safety net basically so right now starting with six sixty seven fifty one at the beginning of the pay period we got paid we spent eight hundred and four dollars and sixty six cents and we have one thousand one hundred forty eight dollars and seventy five cents left in the bank account now here are the fixed expenses that are still waiting to either be paid or withdrawn the buffers we keep in there 90 in the main account and 100 in the bill buffer so we want to make sure this goes down to zero to make sure all of this gets accounted for and it looks like it has mortgage is still in there 860 dollars i did pay it it just hadn't come out yet i don't know why it takes so long for that to process like take it okay extra utilities i paid 75 extra dollars in my utility account and that's going to go towards the next bill and i did see the bill for next month it's going to be about 240 dollars, which is about like 60 dollars more than usual but it's winter time so we expected that if i need to i do have a sinking fund slash savings envelope for utilities so if i need to use that i can if i don't have enough next month groceries there's groceries there is still $21.75 left in the bank account and then I have a leftover balance of two dollars not quite sure where that came from but probably from rounding so there's two extra dollars in there that means all the expenses in total are the same as what the balance is so it does zero out which is a plan and a zero base budget just means that every dollar that comes into the bank account I have a plan for either either for where it should go or where I'm saving it and those are all lined out here. Sinking funds used. So this past week we used family fund and we used the YouTube giveaway. You guys saw me on payday take out that seven take out that seventeen dollars, and that was to pay for the um, binder that I gave away. So I gave away a savings challenge binder that cost me seventeen dollars. So I took that money out so that I could pay back um, the card that I used to pay for it and family fun we spent 36 dollars. we went out and we spent 36 dollars of that family fund on entertainment so it leaves a balance of 84 dollars in the family fund and for youtube giveaway there's 28 dollars in there um i didn't add anything to it with the paycheck that i got yesterday so if you haven't watched that um youtube income video make sure you take a look so you can see i, I you know i had a little rant in that video so <laughs> if you want to watch that please do and i hope nobody takes offense to it it was not shade it was just literally and i had to get it off my chest it was on my mind and but what's on my mind is on my body and i had to get it off i had to get it off so but i feel so much better I, something about just talking about it and you know because i'm sure other people have gone through it too i know that it's not just me and i know anyway all right so for <laughs> <laughs> for our cash categories that we stuffed on payday, which was the 17th, 
we um let's let me show you that budget so i can show you where it came from so this was the budget and pay for paycheck b this is what we cash stuffed in all of our envelopes i did spend some money on payday so that didn't come out of the bank but for as far as budget we budgeted 65 dollars for personal 55 for home 75 for dining 54 entertainment 50 for gas and 40 for miscellaneous so now let's look and see what we have left in those envelopes in our cash wallet so let's start with personal since it's at the top tippity top personal we have and i have been using my expense tracker which is not technically made for expense tracking i am using the google one note app to track all my expenses and it is working out so much better than all the other things that i have tried if you have been following my channel you know that i have tried several things and this so far is working well as long as i remember to actually use it i am going to do a video on that to show you guys how i use it because since it's not traditionally for that you know I'll show you how to use it if you're interested in trying a different way to expense track. So now that I've gabbed my mouth off, let's see what's left. So personal has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Personal has $22 left. Means we spent $43. Home. Home has started with 55, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars left in home. That means we spent 27 dollars from home. Not bad. Okay, dining out. I already know that has nothing. Entertainment started with 50 dollars and it has. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. It has $18 left. So what we did this week that was really fun, I said $17. Well, that's zero. So we spent $75. Did I say, look, look at me. Look, 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 look at here. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's $18 left for entertainment. So I, we did some fun things this week. I'm trying to get us to do some more fun things because that entertainment budget was just sitting there. You know, we weren't spending out of that really, but I, I want to make sure we do something fun either every pay period or at least once a month because, you know, that's the point. It's the point to have some money to live life a little bit. So we went to two new cool places. So we went to something called, uh, called K-Pop. K I think it was called so it's a korean place where you basically you cook your own food at the table and i was like that is so dumb i can do that at home but it was really fun so i had to try it at least once it was really fun i i i hardly ever complain about food but i did not like the food and i was texting my friend and he's like how you didn't like the food you made it <laughs> Which is very true, but there was no seasoning. So that was not my, that was not, I did not like the food, but I had fun with my friends. So that's all that matters. And it was an experience. So um, if I go back again, I will, uh, I'll be a little ghetto and I'm gonna bring me a little, little thing of seasoning or two, maybe a couple spices, maybe if I decide to go back. But I wanna try something new every two weeks. We have um, some of our friends, they've been friends for a really long time. We bas They're basically family, so we just call them family. Um, we're gonna do something with them every two weeks. So every time I get paid that Friday, we're either gonna try a new restaurant or something fun. So that is a plus, especially in the winter time because we know how that can be. So for gas, let's see what we have in gas. Oh, and then we tried another place. Look, I'm getting ahead of myself. We tried another place, $50 left in gas. Um, we had, my daughter's really into this Korean thing and so is my friend's daughter. <laughs> so, um, which oh, my friend's daughter is my age. So that's what we have been doing. So it's called a Korean corn dog. So if you don't know what it is, it's like a corn dog, but not like an American corn dog. It's like wrapped in like cheese and then they put like Cheetos on top of one of them. Oh my God. I was like, I don't even like American corn dogs, but this corn dog was so good. Y'all know I had to pop one of my little laxative, my not laxative, whoa, whoa, lactate pills. <laughs> one of my lactate pills. 
so that I could enjoy it. But it was so worth it. It was so good. It was so good. And they were only like $12 for, it was like $6 each. So I thought that would be great. And then they have these like donut things that are like fried dough, but so much better. Ugh. I don't even like American donuts either, but this was so much better. It was like a level up of everything. But so if you have not tried it, I suggest you try a Korean corn dog if you have one in your area. So good. And it didn't taste like a regular like a hot dog because it, it was like a sausage kind of. But I mean, I don't know how much farther from ill that is, but a little bit is a little bit. Okay, miscellaneous. Let's see. Miscellaneous has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars left. And we started with 40, I believe. Yes, miscellaneous has seven dollars. That means we spent, let's see if I can do math in my head, 33 dollars. Huh, I did it. All right, so we started with. Three hundred and thirty-five dollars, and we spent. Is that a seven? Can't read my own handwriting. Forty-three. Oof, we spent two hundred and ten dollars already, and we have remaining. We have one hundred and twenty-five dollars left, so that's in the wrong line no spend days i don't know i do keep track of it on my um my tracker for my planner but i i, I don't know off the top of my head right now so variable spent 210 dollars. variable remaining 125 dollars. so not bad 125 dollars left is good i know that i'm gonna put that 50 dollars into my tank at least half of it right now we're at half a tank um so we'll probably use half of that to put in the tank excuse me if gas rolls over i am going to put that towards the um gas and grocery sinking fund uh, i'm gonna keep i'm gonna start doing that with any gas rollover just because in the summertime i know we're going to be using more i also want to bulk up that family fund because again summertime is coming up so you know i don't want to be like oh, i don't have enough money for that i don't want to be that person so you know we want to go here and there i love summertime so i want to be able to do all that good stuff all right so let's put this back in the wallet we have one more week to go and we have some money left so i'm very happy about that so besides the gas we at least have 75 dollars left personal still got money haven't really spent that and entertainment still has money the only thing we blew all the way was of course dining out so there will be there will be no dining out this weekend i'm gonna put this in here just to remind myself like girl you don't know how don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet if you liked it if you if you watched the video and you enjoyed it and you want to see more of the videos please make sure you like and subscribe so that these videos show up in your feed more often so I want you to always remember it is about what? Progression and not about perfection. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy saving. Bye. <laughs>